Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 home screen widgets. I'm going to be showing you guys what they are, how to use them, what they're about. Uh, if you guys really enjoy these kinds of videos, be sure to subscribe. I have daily content coming out on how to use iOS 14 and just a bunch of tips and tricks to do with tech. So if you guys are interested in those kinds of videos, be sure to subscribe. And anyways, let's get right into this video. I'll show you guys my top 10. Now the first widget we have is World Clock. Uh, it's a pretty unique clock widget that you guys can use. Now uh, there's a couple of different things you guys can do with it. So I'm just gonna show you guys these three right here that I've made really quick. Now uh, with the World Clock, it shows you this unique view of all the times in different areas of the world if you wanna check those out. Now once you have the World Clock widget up, you can long press on it and then click on Edit Widget. And then right there, you'll be able to change time zones. You can change the clock type from analog to digital. You can also change the date format and the appearance. So whether you like the dark appearance or the light appearance, you guys can adjust and play around with those like that. So for example, if I want to change this one to digital, I can do that. And then I could choose whether I want 24 hour time or show seconds, totally up to me. But once you're done making changes, you can exit out of it. And you guys will see there, it'll change it to a digital time. And there's a really, really ton of things you guys can do with this. So say, for example, I go on edit home screen, click on the plus, and then click on world clock. You guys will see there is a couple different options you could choose from. Ultra compact, compact, really, really cool application. And there's also grid, which is really nice as well. So very customizable. One of my favorite clock widgets for sure. The next widget I'm going to show you guys is called the standings widget. It's basically you could choose your favorite football team and you'll be able to set them as your favorite team in the application. And then it will show you the standings for the entire league that that team is in. It's actually a very, very cool widget just to be able to have that on your home screen and update so you can always stay on top of the standings for your favorite teams. Uh, now with this uh, widget application, you have three options. you got the small, the medium, and the large. Uh, I've just found that the medium and large ones just display it a lot better, especially that medium one just looks like a good, size uh, the small one is too small so i didn't show you guys this one but uh, to change your favorite team that's done in the application you guys can just head over to the application open it up and then just go in the team tab at the bottom and then you'll be able to click on change favorite team and then you can go through here select your country and the team that you would like and then the widget will update on your home screens and you'll be good to go but that is the standings widget link will be down in the comment section or in the description and the next widget I'm going to be showing you guys is called Next Drop. So if there's any sneaker heads out there watching my videos, this is the widget for you. It basically just shows you any upcoming sneakers that are going to be dropping in the next couple days. So you can always stay on top of what's coming out and stuff like that. Very, very, very cool widget that you'll be able just to have on your home screen to stay on top of how everything is going. Uh, like all other widgets, I'll have the link in the description. It's a pretty basic widget though, nothing really that you could change. Uh, so if I just click on edit home screen here, I'll show you guys three different sizes that you have option for. There's only the small, the medium, and then the large. So like I said, not too much that you guys can change from, but the small, medium, and large, pretty basic. Then you could add to your home screen. Very cool widget for anyone who's interested in sneakers. The next widget I'm going to show you guys is called Social Counter. It's basically a counter for followers or subscribers, depending on what social media app that you're going to have counted. But basically, I just have my YouTube connected right here on this uh, widget, and it's basically just showing a live update of my subscribers. If this video is helping you out so far, be sure to add to this number. I'll really appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, I'll show you guys really how to use this. It's really easy. You just want to go over to the application called Social Counter. I'll have the link in the description and the comments like all the other ones. But here, you just put your account information in, whether it's your channel ID, for YouTube or your at for Instagram or Twitter. And then uh, you just want to close out of this and then it will update your followers or subscriber number here. And you could have that right on your home screen. Very, very cool application. Next up, I have an application called dash dot dash. And basically what this does is it allows us to basically remove all the words under widgets. So as you guys see under the headset I have uh, there, that's just a photo. You see the dash dot and then dash. It's just a lot more cleaner than having like widget scanner app QR or calorie like we see here. So it's a lot cleaner to have that. It works for any picture if you have pictures on your screen. And what you do is you just go over to the application and all you do is click on add widget. And then you click on set image and then you can choose on any image you would like and then click on save and that's basically it and then you could have that as your widget on your screen just like i have here very very cool application especially if you're using pictures it just looks a lot cleaner on your home screen just to have the dash the dot and the dash rather than having the words next up we have the widget scanner now this is a very very great 
widget for you guys for productivity. Now you can do a PDF scan really quickly with this, receipt scans, image to text, QR code scans, and barcode scans really quickly with this widget just being on your home screen. Uh, now it's really easy to set up and it's just one size too. So it's very easy. Just download the app and add it right away to your phone. And then right when you click it for the first time, it'll open up the camera. And then you guys see on the bottom here, you can just switch from PDF scans to receipts, just very similar to how you use your camera app. Then you can go ahead and click the photo button at the bottom. Very, very cool application for productivity. will speed things up a lot. Next widget up is Clockface. Now this is one of the cleanest widgets I've seen thus far. Very minimalistic, very modern. I really, really like this one. Unfortunately, it only comes with the one size that you guys are seeing on my screen right now. Uh, to make any changes that you want to this widget, you have to go to the application. Unfortunately, there's no edit option right on the widget. Uh, so we just go over to the application and then I'll show you guys what you guys can do here. If you go to the top left, you guys can change the skins that are on it. I personally like the one that's already on it, so I'm gonna leave mine be. Then if you go over to settings, you could change a couple things in here as well, like the brightness, if you want an alarm, stuff like that. Pretty basic widget, but it is really, really clean. I really, really am enjoying this one. Up next, we have a widget called Calorie. Basically, it's just a couple different widgets you guys can put on your home screen to track your macronutrients or to track how much calories you've eaten so far throughout your day or how much water you're drinking. There is a lot of different options. So if you guys have this application, I'm just going to show you guys really quick what if different options you guys can use. So if you just long press on it and click on widget, you could change it completely here. So for a theme, you could have it set to your system theme. So like dark or light mode, if you would like. And then you could choose the data type that you have as well. This is specifically for the macro bar widget on this application. I'll show you guys there is multiple different widgets you guys can get. Um, so let's just say if I wanted this macro widget, I can go ahead and have it on the dark mode. And you guys see there, it looks really cool. And it matches with the dark-esque theme I have on my background right now. Uh, otherwise, if you want to create more, I'll show you guys all the different widgets you have uh, to make with this app. So if we go over to calorie... There is a progress widget if you want to have to progress or view progress. And there's the macro bar and there's also plates as well. Uh, now to add data into this application, you just want to go over to the app and you can go ahead and open it up. And then you'll be able to go in here and set anything that you guys would want. So I haven't set up mine yet. So I have to go through here, set this up and then put my information in and then it will start to track everything on the widgets here. Very, very cool. The next widget I'm going to show you guys is called TWID. I'm just going to leave the widget scanner app right here just for the example I'm about to show you guys. TWID is a widget application that allows you to create transparent widgets so you're able to make your home screen appear full even if it's not. It actually is a really, really cool application. So to set it up and get it started, you just want to go ahead and create a new widget. So I'm just going to click on edit home screen on the plus icon and then go over to TWID. And then you have to decide here what size you would like, whether it's small, medium, or large. So let's just say we wanted to do medium here. You just click on add widget and you guys see it says open app to set up widget. So what we're going to do uh, first before we open up the application is we're going to take our screenshot. And to do that, you want to just go long press again, click on edit home screen, slide over to an open page, and then just take a screenshot, click on done, head back over to our application, open it up, click on select screenshot, click on your screenshot. And then we have to watch this ad, unfortunately, really quick. So let's give this a second. And we go out of here and then you guys will see that the widget is now transparent and then we have that pushed down on our screen very very cool uh widget application and then of course you can make small and large ones as well and then we could obviously move it just like any other widget as well which is really cool you can click and drag and move it wherever you would like really really cool application and last but not least, we have the Widget Radar, which is a very, very cool weather widget that you can have on your screen just to see a live radar of what's going on right now with weather. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, you have two different sizes that you can choose from. You have this medium and the large one like you guys see right here. Now, if you long press on this widget and click on Edit Widget, you can go ahead and choose your location if you want to be more specific. So I can go ahead and just search Toronto. Click on Toronto and done. And then we could either click a zoom. So we would want to do the city, the region, or the world. So say if I just want to do the region around it, I click on region and then back out. And then we see right there, it shows Toronto uh, with the zoom out feature with anything going on. Obviously you see it's clear right now, which is very, very cool. And then it's right under it. It says updated at 940. Really, really cool application. I'm definitely going to be using this one a lot. 
Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with this list of my top 10 widgets. If you guys want me to go into depth with any of these widgets, just let me know. And if you guys want me to do any singular videos about any widgets or want more of these types of videos, just let me know as well. I'll be glad to make more of them. Every link that you guys would need will be in the description as well as in the comment section below. Anyhow, I really hope I was helpful with this video. If it was helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content similar to this. Thanks for watching.